Dutchman bag. Lost Dutchman Cash Fin. Well, let's take a look here. There it is. And that's the back. Woo, here we go. Lost Dutchman. Leather on the front. This is their full-on leather wrap offering. Well, from Nate. We know who he is. And let's see what we have here. A couple of his cards. Nate Walker. Great young man. Making wonderful, wonderful wallets. Take a look at the stitching on here. Everything is done by hand. Fantastic looking. And there's the cash wrap portion. You can see how this works. And this tucks in right here. Wow. This is going to be cool, but... There is something about this that bothers me a little bit. Hmm. Anyway, on to the feature review of the Lost Dutchman Cash Fin. We do have a feature here on the exterior, nothing on the back, but here in the front, we've got a flap, and this flap is for security purposes, to keep cards and cash intact and not going anywhere. If we open this up, then we immediately see, when we uh, flop it open, is two card slots right here, interior card slots, one and two. We then go further back, this is the big feature of this wallet, it is the cash wrap. Cash goes in here, comes up, and then folds and is secured by the flap right here. It uh, makes it a nice compact package. And that is a quick review of the features of Lost Dutchman Cash Fin. As a new release from Lost Dutchman, the Cash Fin bothers me a little bit. I kind of mentioned that. But before we get into that, uh, we'll move on to the card and cash insertion test. But first, it measures 3.8 by 3.0 by 0.6. And it weighs 45 grams. notice I got four cards. I started with 12 notes. Uh, ended up taking out the larger euro and yen. So we ended up with 10 in there. Took it just fine. I think minimalist card carry is probably four. Reasonable is seven. The company recommends up to 15 unfolded notes and up to 14 cards. We were kind of there with the cash and seeing it works just fine. Now, what's the issue you ask? Well, it's not quality. Quality is fantastic. It's designed and made in the United States. For a full grain veg tanned harness leather from Wicked and Craig. And you know, it measured out to, measures out to be about a three and a half ounce leather weight. Enough leather is used uh, to make this thin enough while still providing enough substance. It's just a, a great weight. And you can see, you know, it gets a little thick, but you've got cash in here, and I put in eight cards. I actually got eight cards in there, four in each. So there's quite a bit going on with this wallet, but it's still really compact. It's priced for $85. All right, so what bothers me about the cash fin? Well, it's a bit on the usability side. Let's see how this thing operates. Well, it's not a problem with opening. You can let gravity do its thing, flip this open, fl flip it open like this, and all of a sudden you have access to cards and cash. Especially when you want to get to cards, you just pinch this, and quick access to cards here, or easy access to cards here, makes this really quite nice. And then it's a flop, flop to get back to a close. But what was bothering me when I first opened this up in the wallet was there's no quick access slot. Nothing here in the back, nothing here in the front. It's, uh, it, you, you have to open this up completely every time you want to get to a card. And this wallet folds twice. I mean, you have to open this twice, one and two, to get to your cards. So how do we fix, th fix this? Well, for me, and it just, just for me, is I put cards right here. And I can take, I don't know, let's take two cards, put them right here in the flap slot right here in the front, and you can still put this flap in, and there you go. You only have to flip this open, have access to the cards. The one thing, of course, is if you flip it open, uh, it does that now begin to interfere a bit. It just sits here in the back with the cash. So if you're putting cash in and out a lot, that might become an issue, or you always just put it in the back of it, whatever it might be. But for me, I was looking for a quick access card slot, and this was the only way I could find to make that happen. 
Uh, I know there are folks who just say, I get used to opening it and closing it. But for me, I want something that's a little quicker. Now, this is a great handmade leather wallet from a very skilled maker, Nate, as we've mentioned his name before. He makes all of his products all by hand, not just sewing, but everything involved with it. And that's a dedication to the craft. And I think we can get behind Nate due to his introduction sentence on his site, which reads, I am the sole craftsman behind Leather Dutchman Leather, as well as a lover of bacon. Well, ooh, yes, bacon. Mm, I like the smell of that. Yes. And the sample. Well, let's get on to the vinyl score. For quality of five, no question there. Price at three, within the normal range, but it starts to pushing boundaries of price. Uh, features a four. Okay, I did this because right now it's a cash and card, but you could do coins. Coins could fit in a card slot and they'd be safe due to the wrap and would not fall out. Usability, a three. I wish I had a quick access slot like we talked about, but the flat cards saved it. And perception of five. And that gives us a final score of 40 out of 50. Thanks for joining us. Look at these other videos and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you're notified when these next reviews drop. We'll see you in the next review.